Hello and welcome to Stay On Target, Games Radar's weekly look at the world of Star Wars. I'm Richard Edwards, the editor of SFX Magazine, and with me today are Chris Thurston, deputy editor of PC Gamer Magazine, and Jordan Farley, community editor of SFX. Okay, we're now going to have an in-depth look at that trailer, pick up the things that you might have missed. Now, Lucasfilm logo, exciting! We could just, Very exciting. We were all sort of hooked by that, I think. <laughs> I'm, I'm now eight years old again. Yes. Yep. And, and then, you, hear, you hear a little bit of a lightsaber at the end of the logo as well. I don't know if you picked up yeah. on that, but that was, I thought that was quite I, cool. I hear lightsabers all the time. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is Jakku. Jakku, um, yep. And our guess, isn't it, that that little blob you can see speeding across the, the bottom might well be uh, Ray, Ray on, his, on, on her, her bumper, bumper car. Bumper car. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that. About to do a bit of scavenging. And has she hit the mother load or what? Oh, <laughs> no it's question. It's the X-Wing in the foreground that gets, does it for me as well. There's a kind yeah. of a story in this image that I really like. Because I love the idea of one X-Wing taking down a Super Star Destroyer. They do that all the time, to yeah, be fair. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, a single A-Wing takes down a yes. Super Star Destroyer in Jedi, so... I mean, in your list of all-time coolest things you've ever seen, that must be a, what, a three or a four? Yeah, yeah it's pretty good. Yeah, I really like the, um, I really like the way it, it's sort of like an inversion of the very beginning of A New Hope as well, where, mm. you know, it's, that's a Star Destroyer above a desert planet, yeah. and this is a Star Destroyer in a desert planet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, basically, you're hooked from there. Yeah, it's Like, gorgeous. they needed to do anything. No. Totally iconic. And then it gets better. The force is strong in my family. Now, we've got a bit of uh, Luke Skywalker talking. We mm -hmm. do. And Vader's helmet. Which is looking a bit the worse for wear. It is. Uh, that fire didn't do a very good job no. of uh, melting this helmet down, did it? Well, to be fair, he <laughs> got that helmet when he was most, mostly burned to death. So he probably wanted a fireproof helmet. Yeah, I'm just that's theorizing true. That that's might true. Be, he might have said, no, I want to... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so we can't have that happen again. Yeah. Don't but fall in any more lava, Anakin. I wonder who's holding this. I mean, someone's obviously recovered this from mm. Endor. Mm. It's not a very, um, let's say, Jedi-appearing pedestal. I don't like, yeah. you know, necessarily claim to be an expert on the various Aesthetics. you know, helmet pedestals yeah. of, of the <laughs> Sith and the Jedi. But it, it's very black dark, triangles yeah. do yeah. tend to have an association in the Star Wars universe yes. that isn't with... Um, people in bathrobes. Now, the, the, the dialogue here is just as in interesting as uh, uh, because you've got a Luke Skywalker uttering words that he, he said in um, Return of the Jedi, where he's talking about, um, you know, uh, he's force talking strong to Leia. the force is yep. strong in my family when he sort of tells Leia that she's his sister and mm -hmm. all that. Now, they've actually jigged the order around. Now, we're, we're actually slightly disputing now whether it's a lift of the original dialogue Mark Hamill spoke in Jedi mm -hmm. or whether he's re-recorded it again. So where do we stand? So um, my theory is that it's re-recorded. Mark Hamill's a really good voice actor, and I actually, when I first watched this, one of the things that jumped out at me is how good he sounds as old Luke Skywalker. Of course, I could be a complete idiot, and he's actually he's still... <laughs> the but if you listen to it really, really carefully, there's an echo in the background that sounds like someone else saying the same words, and I'm pretty sure the echo is the old recording. And it is, you know, it's a pretty um, heavy uh, link there that it is literally an echo of, of the past. I think it's possibly not worth getting too worked up about the my father has it yes, line I know. Yeah. in mm. that context. But I think that, Rather than my father had it. Yeah, for example. But I think the, the point is that it is repeating the past in order to kind of hand off at the end where he says, and you have that power too. So who's he talking to? That, that's the big question. I mean, so presumably there is another Skywalker, um, it's like a Luke Skywalker or Princess Leia child who has the Force in them. It would seem that way. Uh, it would make sense in terms of the series lineage that there is always someone with the Force who comes to light, who comes to power. Um, the obvious choices seem to be Rey or Finn. Mm would be the smart bets. So Poe um, Dameron's a pretty good pilot. He is a pretty good pilot and you so know. So he says. Yeah, mm. but then again, Han Solo was a pretty good pilot and he didn't yeah. have any of the force in him, so. I think it, this is, it's, it's strange that there's a kind of really key semantic thing there, whether or not, when he says this, the force is strong in my family, whether he's subsequently also talking about the person that he's speaking to, or mm. if he's talking about himself, and then ex in order to explain the force. Well, I'm sure this has been carefully thought out by JJ Abrams, just <laughs> thinking, just look how much <laughs> this line can be analyzed. Yeah, yeah. indeed. Um, I think, you know, a Skywalker kid would be um, a big deal, obviously, mm. and there's precedent for that in the Expanded Universe that they've done away with, whether they repeat some of the same ideas of having a, a Han and Leia kid, or if it's something else entirely. But to be honest, it would work if it wasn't. It would work if it was just another Force-sensitive mm. born in the era post Jedi. It'd be a bit of shame if Darth Vader's back in a way. It's kind of like his story's done. I mean, yeah. I don't mm, really want to see sure. him just appear and he's got to be good now because if he turns out to be bad again surely that's a waste of the whole point of Return of the Jedi. <laughs> yeah, I think they're done with Darth Vader. I mean honest. Luke did set him on fire. 
Yeah. So well, and we we definitely don't want Hayden Christensen's false ghost. No, <laughs> that was actually a genuine concern. Some people were, yeah. were arguing that. Um, you know, perhaps the my father has it means that maybe you know he's been talking to Anakin as a, a force yeah. ghost, Obi Wan style, but that either means finding an actor who looks a bit like Sebastian Shaw, mm. or bringing back Hayden Christensen, and I'm I'd be so happy if there were no links at all, yeah, yeah. Prequels, just none, just leave it, pretend it didn't happen, and let's all apart from move him. on. Apart from him, apart from him. He, he'll be back. Yeah. Now we reckon this is pretty certain to be Luke it's Skywalker. Be Luke. I mean, <laughs> yeah. the bit where he says I have it, uh, yeah. so it was over the top, and metal hand. Yep. Interesting though that he can't be bothered to either wear a glove or have skin on it. No. Anymore. Well, maybe he's maybe he's living in the wilderness, Obi Wan Kenobi style. Or Yoda style. Yeah. Mm. No longer has the ability to cover his robot hand with skin anymore. Maybe it degrades <laughs> over the years. Or yeah. Or well, no, no yeah. longer the desire. You know, yeah. might hide it. Yeah. Maybe he's accepted it. Yeah. Now again, this is really interesting. This is really big. Um, you know, we think that the hand on the left is Princess Leia. It mm -hmm. looks. Very also, likely. again, it's my sister yep. has it. Yeah. Uh, the trailer is cut in a very clear way to identify this as Leia. Now, this light lightsaber has been the t source of much speculation, like mm -hmm. whether it's Luke Skywalker. Uh, Luke Skywalker's. Oh, do you think it's Anakin? I, well, it, it's well. So, Anakin's saber is the one that's lost in Empire, right? Yes. yes. Uh, which is the one that looks like that. Yes. Yeah. So, so, As so a, Anakin. So uh, defining Luke's sorry, Star Wars semantics. Defining yeah. Luke's saber is the one he builds, not mm -hmm. his yes. father's. Right? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. The, the, the one that Obi Wan gave him. Yeah. The, yeah. Beginning of the movie. But this this person here, we don't know who it is. We don't. Um, it, it, if you if you freeze just before it gets to this point, uh, you'll see that it's not a human character. Looks a little bit feline, got a bit of a feline face. Hmm. Feminine wrist, wearing a bracelet, seems to be a female character. I Apart think we'll, we'll, that, make, we know, we'll mention a little yeah. bit more in that we'll have a dark side spoiler segment after this where we we'll go a little bit sort of more spoilery. But uh... now this is all we need: X wings. Oh, Brilliant. gorgeous! Yeah. Oh, I thought the shot in the first teaser of the X wings over the water um, was going to make me cry, and um, this is getting there. Now we know yeah. a little bit more. We know that they are not Rebel Alliance X-wings. They are resistance, resistance. X-wings. So obviously, something's happened. They've had a rebrand. They are. They're uh, T-70 X-wings. Yes, not T-65. Yes. Yeah. So, so they've come on a little bit. We don't. I mean, we, 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 our X-wings are old news. Here's Poe Dameron sort of. Yeah. So hang on. Fair resistance. Where, where's the Rebel Alliance logo coming from? It's on his both his jacket and his helmet. Yes, so maybe that it is a rebrand. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a redesign. Yeah. I love how much he's enjoying being an X-wing pilot yes. as well. He really strikes me as like a kind of wedge Antilles type, like maybe trying yeah. to take that archetype and flesh it out a bit, rather than just you know the kind of the stoic, um, very talented X-wing pilot that's always in the background of Star Wars, being mm. put in the foreground. Yeah, because everyone takes their jobs very seriously in the original. Trilogy. All the X-wing yeah. pilots are very serious. No one's having fun there. Yeah, no, no one no, really no, appreciates them. Especially except for Dak. Except for yeah. Dak. <laughs> Dak on um, Hoth, who's yeah. going, yeah, I'm well up for <laughs> this, and look what happens to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. You know, he, he, Luke does breach very clear Rebel Alliance guidelines when he disables that target. He does. He yeah. does. What was he playing? It's not <laughs> best practice, you know. <laughs> now, this, is, this is just, uh, this is running, running is of course a key part of the Star Wars universe. Yeah, it is, so it is. Being running, attacked little by a TIE fighter. Little TIE fighter in the corner there. Yeah. BB-8 rolling along yes. in the background as well. Now, buddy! Um, now, this is Kylo Ren. We mm -hmm. saw him from the back before. It was the most talked about back uh, of last year, I think. Yeah. Um, he ignited, ignited his triple pronged lightsaber. Um, and now we've actually seen his mask. That's the latest in a long line of cool Star Wars masks. It is, mm. it is. Reminiscent of Darth Revan yeah, from say that. Knights of the Old Republic. It's Which not, is yeah, interesting. You know, it's, it's, not it's, going it's cool, be, though, that they're, they're even yeah. echoing back to. Yeah, I mean, I suppose there are only so many variants of like, uh, like Black ski mask, mask and hood yeah. um, in the end. <laughs> We're basically but, saying know. that he's a bit Cylonish. He does, like, yeah. There's a little bit of that to it. Yeah. Um, it's interesting that he's so kind of like lithe and young yeah. seeming, mm. very, very different to Vader, far yeah, more yeah, Darth Wally. Yeah. Yes, the, yeah. He has the sort of the, the younger man, the, mm. which I makes wonder, us think it, it is Adam Driver. Yeah. Mm. I wonder if there is a reason he has that mask though, in like a an That's Anakin cool. scar oh, kind oh, of way. Right. Yeah. I wonder if there's some kind of uh, trauma in his past, which is the reason why he's wearing that mask, or if it just looks cool. Also looks like he can use the Force, doesn't it? It does. Right. That, that hand gesture would be a, so, yeah. a sort of cruel it's trick. It's either that or he is um, asking somebody to stop in the name of love. <laughs> um, I was going to point out, this really looks like a, a moisture evaporator to me in the background. There's a little kind of, and, yeah. and the terrified civilians huddling around it. Because the, em the Empire or the Empire mm -hmm. analog do love killing moisture farmers. Yeah. It seems like it could be a, it, it, this seems more like a like an act of terror than a battle. Well, mm. Some of the pictures that were out yesterday looked like he was with stormtroopers. Mm. So yeah, he, the, the, he's got something to do with uh, the First Order. Mm. 
Ah, and there they are. The and here are the first order. Now, I think that's interesting. That, that that sort of logo in the background. It looks a little bit like Imperial Insignia, but not Definitely. quite. Definitely. Yeah. Far more prongs. Updated version. Yeah. Again, rebranding. Just yeah, a yeah, galaxy yeah. wide rebranding. Well, I, mean, got, I mean, just from JJ Abrams' point of view, mm. they've got to think about the merchandising. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Now, this chap, I wonder who he is. Uh, just sort of holding court. Could he be the new leader? I mean, Max von Sydow, maybe. It's, it seems like. I mean, he's a safe bet. He's a statuesque kind of authoritative chap. A man who could hold the stage could be him. It's interesting that given how much the Empire in the original trilogy was a sort of analog for like Nazi Germany, this is the single most Nazi-ish <laughs> yeah. yeah. that's that ever been in Star Wars. Yeah. Like, there's no one's. They, I've never seen stormtroopers move that precisely. You know, these guys aren't tripping over doors or banging their heads on stuff or like stumbling over each other to miss. Are you saying they've reinvented the Star Wars universe so much that stormtroopers will be able to shoot? They seem to be indicating, there's a shot later on that will suggest that maybe Stormtroopers aren't entirely useless, useless. all of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I thought was quite interesting in that one was the, the background, that mm. there's, there's a snow planet The ice there. planet, yeah. Now, is it Hoth? I mean, there may be, other, of course, other mm. ice planets. Yeah, there's yeah. other desert planets, apparently, yes. so, so we know everything's that to play now, for. So. Yeah. I think it's a safe bet it's another planet, given what they've done with Tatooine and Jakku. Mm. I mean, unless the Empire has just you know, decided to get its recycling and they're just making better use of Echo Base. Yeah. You know, <laughs> why not? Awesome new TIE Fighters as well in yep. that shot. Yes. And uh, here too. This, uh, yeah, black but with white wings. Yeah. Now this white scene, this scene is really interesting, I think. Because that's a TIE Fighter attacking there. It is. Yes, yeah, so, so we would. is it factions within the, the First Order? Mm. I've got to get used to this. Could be. Or is it a rogue TIE Fighter? Because we, we know that Finn is a stormtrooper who goes rogue. Because this mm. be how Someone he's making getting. their escape. Yeah. It's interesting because yeah. the window on the TIE Fighter, maybe this isn't interesting, but it's interesting to me, is it's firing towards the camera, but it looks like it's facing backwards. I, think, was, I, I, I yeah. assume he's trying to get away and he's yeah. shooting at like, it. I didn't realize TIE fighters could fire backwards. That was, that's well, it's been 30 years. Yeah, yeah true. Why Updated not? Updated I mean, technology. They can yeah. probably reverse yeah. without, you know, they've got little beep reverse <laughs> sensors <laughs> yeah. to stop them hitting walls. <laughs> it's a classic Wilhelm scream with this Stormtrooper. I, I can imagine. The air as well. well, they actually yeah. have that built into their suits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. This Push is, a button. <laughs> this is like the last of the original trilogy Stormtroopers here, just enjoying the fate of his kind, whereas the new, less useless Stormtroopers continue to be useless. Ah, Finn then. So we know that he's not a storm, he, mm -hmm. sorry, he is a stormtrooper, but this is obviously having a, a bit of a crisis and there was a bit of a bloody hand there on it. There think, was, on his helmet, yeah. Stars implies... doesn't usually do blood. No. They do not, yeah. Well, there's some in the original trilogy. They, they cleaned it up, actually. Um, mm. they, when, um, what's his name, gets his arm cut off in the cantina, that, there was blood. There was a like splatter. There, there was, was a splatter yes. in the first cut of that. And I think, didn't they CGI that out? I think the idea was, yes, that, that now lightsabers cauterize a wound yeah. instantly. So no that blood. Have yeah. yeah. Kid-friendly cauterization yeah. every time. But I wonder if we'll ever see a shot of Finn where he's not looking distraught and sweaty <laughs> and <laughs> like he's having the worst day of his life. <laughs> fact, he is always having a bad feeling yeah. about this. Yeah, yeah. I was actually wondering if they're going to get that line in there because it seems like it's such a running cliche now. Uh, whether they'll go for it. I'm having a good feeling about it. He's having a great feeling about it. Yeah. You know? it's, it's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> whether JJ thinks that he has to follow that. Because, mm. uh, I mean, if you look at the Terminator trailer now where you've got Arnie saying, I'll be back, and it feels really. Yeah. Really force. I mean, it might work in the context of the movie, but it, it's. Uh, I'm sure they'll get it in somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting that he's definitely not a clone as well. Yes, yeah. like that's uh, something I was hoping they would brush under the carpet because it makes almost no sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think Especially most of them aren't clones by the time of the original trilogy, are they? Apparently not. Yeah. But I mean, the thing is, they're sort of to be rewritten. I mean, that's yeah, the, exactly. the interesting thing. Exactly. Uh, over the next couple of months, when they start bringing out comics and books, and we start mm. learning uh, how. The, the sort of first order has what come happened? to be, and, yeah, and the in resistance between, yeah. and all the rebranding, and the, yeah, presumably yeah. the marketing people got involved. And they got an agency in to advise, <laughs> yeah. Was, yeah, PR man. Yeah. 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 We need more red in the Empire, it's too much. Star Destroyer not on the ground. Also not a uh, traditional Star Destroyer. Yes. It's, it's only got one shield generator at the top, which seems like a downgrade. Because at least previously it took two X-Wings to take down both at once. Yeah, maybe the Resistance <laughs> are not as good at shooting as the yeah. Rebel Alliance. <laughs> maybe they finally thought to put a shield generator inside the ship so it can't just be driven into by That's yeah. how they get the <laughs> <laughs> Look, it wouldn't be the Empire of the First Order or whatever if there wasn't a, uh, a pointless flaw. No. Yeah. This is Daft Punk, the Star Wars. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Pimp my Stormtrooper. Now, I think yeah. we might talk a little bit more about the this in the, the spoiler segment mm -hmm. because we, we, there are rumours but we're not sure how accurate they are. But I wonder if this is Gwendolyn Christie. And I, I think it's Gwendolyn it seems Christie. Seems likely, doesn't it? Yeah. It, it, I, I was just uh, having just watched the the latest episode of Game of Thrones, uh, mm. watching her walk in armor. Yeah, look exactly like very similar. Yeah, yeah. but she never thought when she got Game of Thrones. That means uh, you know, yeah. walking in she armor. She looks great in skin. armor. Like, yeah. 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 Either way, he Which, or she looks badass. It's this is what I mean. Such yeah. a great costume. This is what I mean by stormtroopers that like 
actually look like they might achieve something. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. The cape is a nice touch. It's sort of partly the royal guard thing from the, from well, the Emperor's the, Guard. The, the yeah, the Emperor's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's a touch of that. And the and guns have a very much an imperial background, scheme. isn't it? Yeah. 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 But again, the subtle red rebranding, they really got some yeah. colour in there. Well, it appears to be a rocky outcrop, which mm. seems like it might be on a planet yeah. rather than they're on a ship at the moment. Yeah, because the previous shot does a suggest that this is yeah, a, exactly. a ship. But yeah, perhaps not. I like the like, gold tint on the, it's on, yeah, on the it's rifle nice. as well. As opposed to the white that the standard stormtroopers get. And the cutest, oh, still BBA. cute, still yeah. cute. And he actually appeared on stage. He did. He did. In live yeah. action. He yeah. is a real prop. He's a physical prop who rolls about like magic. I don't, I, do you think we're going to be distracted watching the movie? Just thinking, how does that work? Yeah. 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 Exactly. I think, yeah, I honestly think I will be. It's actually so much more practical than R2D2, though. That's kind of the crazy thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of makes sense, even though it's adorable. And this is also the Falcon, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Was Doing a layer esque. Here out of well, the corner. Yeah, yeah. I, I also I thought, thought <laughs> so. That, the droid is the new layer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, no one expected. That. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ray again. Yeah, we, we I really like this as well. First meeting, yeah. um, or certainly when they've sort of come to sort of know each other. Yeah. He's out of his stormtrooper gear. He though. is. This seems to be his standard costume because there's a bit of concept art which shows him mm. in this as mm. well. He's also holding this. There was a shot in the um, presentation beforehand where they showed like a longer shot of him standing in the desert. Mm. In the shot which was in the beginning of the original teaser where he stands up, he's actually holding his jacket. So whatever, however he gets in that desert, he's in his stormtrooper armor, but he brought his jacket. <laughs> well, he's he brought a change of clothes. Yeah, exactly. Well, we were actually wondering if he had the, the clothes underneath his stormtrooper, you know, like James Bond. Yeah, like yeah, he's, yeah. You know, he's got his tuxedo under his wetsuit. You know. <laughs> well, that's the. Um, I was thinking because that, that was the first time I ever, ever considered that stormtroopers probably have lockers and possessions. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, where do they keep them? So it's basically going to be like troops, the short film. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I really like this though because this suggests that Daisy Ridley's character is not only the kind of the active. The agent, she's sort of mm. the person running the furthest ahead of the explosion in the, in the previous oh, yeah, shot. Definitely. She's lifting him up here. Whereas, she's got her own weapon, it looks like, mm, that stuff. Mm. And it's a it's nice blend of kind of the character Leia was in the original trilogy, where she's the serious one, whereas Luke and Han are. Oh, so you get, about you get him the shoe yeah. flyboy. Fly yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas, yeah. but Leia doesn't really get a lot to do. She gets to stand and look worried through most of the big kind of engagements mm. in that film mm. or run away. Whereas this is both kind of active, but with that kind of slightly more serious drive. Like you see uh, Poe Cameron. Po Cameron. <laughs> David <laughs> Damon. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, you know, whooping and enjoying himself. And you see John Bidet looking how he's having an awful time. Yeah, yeah again. Time. Whereas yeah. Um, she's clearly the leader, which is nice. Uh, and then the Falcon. That's it. It's all you need, isn't it, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But going into a Star Destroyer. Is it a Star Destroyer? I think it is. It looks like it could. Sorry, this is the. It's basically based on where the engines are. Yes. But, like, it looks like it could be a Super Star Destroyer. Well, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is, it means there's more than one on that planet because mm. the other one isn't It did look like a standard star. It was a But it was described yeah. as a graveyard of planets. I mean, graveyard of planets. Graveyard of ships. Graveyard of ships, yeah. Um, well, some huge it's battles. A it is a graveyard among planets mm. compared to other planets. It's a great um, okay. But yeah, it's just, this is just a great shot, isn't it? And, uh, Another Chrome-esque TIE fighter pilot. Yeah. Yep. Now, I'm not so scared to admit that I was a little bit tearful when this, this came on. I think this is just. I think we all were. Yeah, yeah. It's just a beautiful little moment. I mean, the line delivery, Chewie, we're home. Mm. Just perfect. It's Chewie hasn't aged a day. No, he, he hasn't. hasn't. His hair's looking. He actually looks really a little bit, you know, he's lost a little bit of weight. Yeah. <laughs> um, Han has aged somewhat. Yeah, no, what I thought was interesting. When I saw this, it's, it's like, it's like almost like they've taken a picture from the original movie, Chewie and Han's getting just. Photoshopped hand up a little bit. Yeah, yeah it's it looks so, so authentic. Yeah. Then. Well, I thought we well, just think about this. I think it's quite interesting that uh, saying they're back on the Falcon. Obviously, someone mm. else has had it for for a while. You know, or it's it, been missing. Yes, and they've suddenly found it again. Yeah, but it's, it's also a, it's interesting that Chewie's wielding a bowcaster too. Like they've gone on expecting to, to something, capture something in there. Yeah. I don't think it's necessarily out of character for Han to be ready to shoot first. No. <laughs> but he doesn't look like he's going to shoot. He's holding a pistol. He's holding he? a blaster. Yeah. Is he? Oh, he's, he's, it's the same pose as the original trilogy where he's going to kind of. He's got it cocked. You can uh, see the barrel there. Okay. Good. He's holding it up like that. I was just getting confused by his dad leather jacket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's actually, a Top Gear's new presenter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so he's, uh, he's still the coolest guy in the galaxy. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He is. Isn't he? <laughs> and in real life, arguably. Well, th this guy can land a plane on a golf course. Yeah. yeah. In front of two doctors. Yeah. As we found out. In less than one parsec something. or something. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> Cool. Well, there's so much to talk about, and hopefully a lot more is going to come out over the next few months. But in the meantime, may the force be with you. That was a pretty sweet video, right? If you want to see more, go to Games Radar's YouTube page over here. Or if you want to read, maybe up your game a little bit, go to GamesRadar.com.